following program on Ada Verna 24 is classified for general audience. It is intended for all ages. It contains little or no violence, no strong language, and little or no sexual dialogue or situations. We would like to remind our viewers that the views expressed in this program by our participating guests are solely viewpoints of them who take part and does not reflect the views and beliefs of the Verena Media Network. Hello and you're watching Gen XYZ and this is the program where we talk about youth related topics or issues and uh, as you all know uh, last week also we've been doing the same and now this week I thought of touching on the topic of healthcare. Now, not healthcare in general, but how often do we pay attention to the health of our teeth or oral care? Now, that's exactly what we're going to talk about because I feel that dental care is not very popular amongst the youth and it can be due to various reasons, maybe due to cost reasons or maybe because that they're having the fear of going to a dentist per se. And, um, Later on in life only we have to face the repercussions for it if we don't take care of our teeth or our oral uh, care at this time. So to talk about this topic, we have Dr. Shamil Navaratna Raja, who is a dental surgeon, a cosmetic dentist, and also speciali uh, she specializes in kids, kids dental as well. Dr. Shamil, thank you so much for joining me on the show today. Thank you so much for having me in your show today. Okay, Dr. to start the discussion off, first I want to ask you now, as far as I know, a lot of people don't like going to the dentist like they come at the last moment if they have a pain if they have a cavity or if they want to get something fixed in their mouth that's when they come they don't really give attention to the precautionary measures per se exactly. and sad to say that i'm also one of them because i dread going to the dentist because i have this fear of going to a dentist so why do you think that this is the case so the first thing i would like to say is as you said, the fear comes first. Only after that comes everything. Because the oral care is very, you know, very sensitive, very tender. So first, they don't like to have pain. They're very, very scared. And it has been like a history. <coughs> when it comes to dental, dentistry, the first thing that comes in their mind is pain. And the second thing, they're not very comfortable. A lot of our young girls or young boys, they're not comfortable opening their mouth or opening and showing it because they're very scared. They're going to inject. And everyone, if you take, they have a history of pain or podicale or in small days, they say, you know, they went to the dentist and the dentist didn't even numb. They just removed it. So it was always a scary history which came. Few have experienced a bad uh, experience with the dentist few just you know listen to people and that keeps on nagging to their rest of their life so that's where the dentistry is actually one step behind when it comes to other things and also they don't think that this is very important going to the dentist or having a dental checkup every once in a year they think that's okay when you have pain you can go to the dentist it is not a must where you will have to go to the dentist. That's the two main things and third thing comes is the cost. Everybody thinks dentistry is super expensive. So that's the third thing which puts everybody one step back where they don't come. So do you think uh, the cost is something that they're having in their minds or is it just a stigma? So I would say prevention is better. So if you don't prevent and when you come into a treatment then it's expensive. But if you are on a preventive care or if you are on a regular basis of every year getting a dental checkup done or if you have a smaller sensitivity, you go there and ask them. So all that will put your cost very low because you are only going to come have a consultation. In that case, you will only have a clean up or a scaling done, which is even less than what you get for your face. So every two months or once in three months, we all go and get a facial done. So it's a must because face, but the teeth is also something which is very, very, very uh, essential. It's very close to our heart. 
whoever sees us the first thing which comes is their smile <laughs> so when they see you know your smile attracts them more so you have to always give a priority to your smile to your oral care and you need to have a very hygiene oral care a very good breath uh, you know it also boosts your confidence level when you want to talk there are a lot of people i've seen during their wedding pics you know they don't even smile because you know they feel so bad to smile but they are very pretty all makeup done everything very fair or very curly or you know they look very pretty but when it comes to smile something you know they don't they're very scared of that confidence level is not there that is because it comes step by step they don't go to the dentist or they they choose uh, not to go to the dentist because of this fear so i would say we will have to always break that go to the dentist talk to her or talk to him uh, get a you know opinion uh, what needs to be done so they will tell you from there you can choose which is your priority so that will actually not it's not very expensive getting a clean up is not expensive we always get a you know a facial done or a eyebrow threading done or something like that that we think it's essential so a clean up just a small clean up a whitening i feel that's essential it will boost you it will make you feel young uh, it will have so much of confidence in you you know that's what i feel it's a must for youth to visit a dentist that's right doctor now you mentioned that earlier uh, it it comes with some sort of trauma they have gone through some sort of difficulty and it could be the word of mouth also so do you think the ways of treatment have changed now compared to the past yes dentistry has evolved i would say it's advanced more so earlier the injections were huge if you know you know oh. they were very very huge <laughs> the needles were huge we didn't have any anesthetic gel the techniques were different so it has to be given if you start from the ancient there was even stories where they used to you know tie a twine and remove you know close the door all that so that's what i'm saying that's the story which is coming no now dentistry is very 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 much painless even for kids we don't have to inject them we don't have to drill them there are solutions there are uh, medicines which you need to only apply which will arrest their cavities you have fluoride treatments which will reduce the effect of uh, cavities in future for us as for you youth you have these whitening now whiteningers are never sensitive but you have to make sure that the good quality of the material is being done you know the place you get the techniques everything has to be on the best quality and now we have digital earlier you used to take impressions you know they used to put the trays all of that now everything is digital you know like earlier we used to do an open open surgery now it's all you know endoscopy camera something like that even dentist is like that you just have to scan so that it's on the laptop so you can get a 3d scan you can get your smile designed and also you can see the result it's a uh, reverse engineering earlier we won't know where you're going to you know land up now you actually know now you know like with digital dentistry we will just design it and show you so you know okay you know this is how my smile is going to be in the next 6 months or one year so you can happily get into it so they are all painless you have aligners now you have digital dentistry uh, you have painless injections very small needles even extractions are very painless nowadays cavities also even root canal earlier it was like five to six sittings now we have single sitting or you know only two sittings so dentistry is more of very eased and very relaxed we even do relaxed whitening for people so that you know they come there like your facial and massage they get their relaxed whitening so all this is more advanced which people are not about it and that's right and i feel that people are very insecure about how they look after the treatment is done let's say if it's an extraction they will not be able to see themselves okay if i remove these teeth how will i look so yes. as you said doctor we can see the end result of our smile yes. also at yes. the end so now doctor now since you have experience in this field for so long how do you handle patients that come to you that who are scared or who has a difficulty of handling a treatment so recently i had a patient i think it was uh, it's been 10 to 12 years that she's gone to the dentist because her past was a little bit scary you know the but nowadays i feel the dentist they handle the patients very well so first when they come we actually talk i would say that's the first important thing to have a one to one conversation before even jumping into a treatment or as soon as they come making them sit 
you know the chair side procedure is very very important so first we will have to talk to them make them very comfortable as soon as they come we don't barge into a treatment we don't you know give them an injection or anything like that so first we'll ask them to sit in the chair and then comfort them ask what they want not what the dentist want if you ask us we have a lot of things because we want the perfect teeth we have a lot of flaws but sometimes even a crooked thing for her it should be a lucky one so which she doesn't like to be straightened so it's like that for some people even if it's an abnormal arrangement it's lucky for them or it looks nice some people have a little jaw which is you know it protruding but for them they like it they are lucky they say no i like it like that so for them you, you i don't like them to you know get corrected surgically done and when you correct it sometimes they won't like it they'll say my earlier look was better so first you need to sit and discuss and ask what you actually want to be done or want want to get it done so when you have that one to one conversation they'll feel very very relaxed and then give them slow appointments don't rush don't take them first appointment and do all the treatments you know or you studied to them you know so first let's do you know and then tell them explain them this is how i'm going to do this is what you need this is what you can choose this is a must this is not the must so then they will know which one to choose which one so they become very comfortable financially as well as mentally everything so that's where you you know take one by one uh, all right doctor so oh from what age groups do you have people coming to you at the moment so i have from the very very small age some kids i have seen even 3 months because some kids are born with teeth the small teeth so i have even done a removable for them because sometimes the mother uh, finds it very hard to feed so i have seen from the zero till you know the geriatric 60 70 80 there are people who come in their wheelchair Uh, the old people they want to get their denture they want to smile nice uh, they have pain uh, cancer patient so i don't actually have an age group and i don't see an age group so from the little ones till the elders i have i'm specialized in the little ones so since i am very good at little ones and adults can imagine <laughs> if i can handle them they always say i can handle whoever it is so yeah. that's how it works on my side Okay. So what are the common reasons that uh, people come to you especially the youth segment? So they like to come for whitening. So one of the best whitenings I have. So we have the one of the best whitenings in the whole of Asia. So and it's very effective. Uh, no sensitivity, no damage to your teeth. So that's there. You need to design your smile aligners to align your smile and to do get your fillings done. If you have a small space or anything like that, you can get your fillings done to make it nicer pain uh, if you have lost your tooth uh, met with an accident or anything like that so the front tooth if you lose cosmetic dentistry is something which uh, is very popular with me so a lot of uh, youngsters who come for that halitosis um, snoring uh, bad breath and also especially kids who have habits of thumb sucking night grinding mouth breathing so for all of that you know they that's the thing the aged people like probably come to you for cosmetic reasons yes. Yes. so what are the ways that we can take care of our oral health more effectively what should be we, we be careful of the first thing i would say is they have to do a consultation every once in a year because you never know what's there so if there is a black spot you will come to the dentist but if there is a hidden you know hidden abscess or hidden cavity or anything like that you won't know then you will wait for the pain which is going to cost you as you have said which is also going to induce a little bit of pain where you have to do your have your injection and all of that so the first thing is they need to visit the dentist every once in a year and then with your oral hygiene at home regular change of your toothbrush brushing twice a day using a mouthwash using floss you know you have this water flosser you have this thread floss so all that you need to incorporate in your daily routine like how you cleanse your face you know use a face wash this is also part of your daily routine okay what are the uh, repercussions for young people if they don't take care of their uh, oral care so the repercussion is they lose their teeth so i would say 
natural teeth is the best how whatever however the dentistry is advanced i would say saving your natural tooth preventing your natural teeth is the key because i don't like any artificial teeth going in so it has to be always prevented so you don't have to lose your teeth it's your natural teeth if it's a small cavity get it filled if it's you know if there is a stain get it removed don't make it worse where you will have to lose your teeth okay thank you doctor so before we continue with our discussion we have to go into a short commercial break we'll be back soon you're watching gem xyz Welcome back to Gen XYZ and uh, we were in discussion with Dr. Shamil Navaratna Raja and in the first segment we were talking about how unpopular dentistry is amongst young people and how they're scared to go to uh, a dentist per se and uh, the common causes why people are not going uh, taking care of their oral health. Doctor, I need to know something a little bit about from your end also. I'm curious to know like what inspired you to become a dentist? Well, was it always been your ambition to become one? No, dentistry wasn't my ambition, uh, to be honest. So I had few, but I was always a person who likes to communicate, talk to people. I was not a software person or a person who will sit in the laptop. I was not like that. I always loved to talk, to communicate. So dentistry was in my list of, you know, ambition. And it's very nice after you, you know, when you get into it and when I pursued and when I studied, started studying and all that, it is very nice because you make smile something very, very important. Smile is very precious to each and every one of us. So to make them smile happy is a happiness for you. There are so many I meet every day across. They always come and say, thank you, doctor. Now I have a good smile. Let it be a bride, let it be the little ones, everyone. And with this era, uh, earlier people were not out and about. With all the software, Instagram, camera, Facebook, everybody likes to have a good smile. You know, that actually puts you up. So when everyone gets a beautiful smile, even if it's an old person, or if it's a small little one, then they come thank us and that makes me feel so grateful. Even if I have the longest day or the hardest day, uh, when I go home, I'm really, really happy because I create smile and beautiful smile. Oh, that's, that's wholesome to hear. <laughs> so just in case, is there any advice that you can give for the young people out there who wants to follow this path of dentistry? What do you think are the available avenues here? A little advice on the pathway you took and so that they also can get inspired from your journey. So anything is not very easy. Even dentistry though, you know, you look, I look like that and all that. It is not an easy way where we all came through. It's very difficult. And a person who wants to be a dentist, I would say they need to have an ambition. They need to live their job. They need to have a real passion. And they also have to tolerate blood, all of that. You know, it is not anything, I would say it is also surgical. So it is a surgical side of it. You will have to do surgeries, you will have to deal with blood, you will have to deal with injection. So you need to be a person who also likes that side. Not only cosmetic also comes with surgical. So in that case, you really need to have an ambition towards this field. If not, it's going to be really hard for you. Mm -hmm. uh, talking about the treatments available now here, doctor, in Sri Lanka, do you think that we are in par with the international level of the treatments available there and here? Yes, I wouldn't say 100% we are in par, but I would say there are many clinics. And now if you take me, I have the Zoom uh, whitening. So that's one of the world's best whitening. So wherever you go and in among Asia, I have, I'm the only one who has it. We are, we are the only one who have this. And also, uh, if you take few other treatments, you know, uh, designing, everything is more or less same. There are Sri Lanka, I wouldn't say it's 100% when it comes to dentistry, when it comes to children, when it comes to kids, the awareness is very less. That's the first thing I would like to 
put it across that's why I really wanted to deal with a lot of kids specialize in them because when it comes to kids dentistry it's really really we are so behind because there is no awareness the if you take the countries abroad every year you have a camp in the school every year with their medical dentistry is the first thing which comes every six months the little one is taken taken an x-ray done a fluoride treatment everything so from the little you know from the get-go it's in their mind so every six months they know it's in their it's calendar a it's a priority mm -hmm. there they will have to go that is not here so here patients only come when they get pain when the little one gets pain or when the little one has a stain a bacterial stain or if the little one has a tooth which is shaking or if it's not aligned you know so that becomes very delayed when they come so in that case I would say we in Sri Lanka are little backward okay so from which age doctor would you advise uh, parents to take their children to dentist appointment? first birthday is the first dental visit always so if you hit one you will have to always think you will have to take them like how you are going to your pediatrician you get your vaccines you don't miss your vaccines so same like that that has to be in their medical book every year and when they hit one they will have to hit the dentist and until you die it's exactly once a year so you should. they slowly get used to us so dentistry is something their teeth uh, more than you know they, they, they value their teeth their oral care they know how to take care from small days so I would say for parents you will have to teach that importance to your little ones you will have to start taking them like from the first year you will have to start taking them they won't have anything major but making it used making it very familiar making the dentistry very comfortable their oral care is much more important now covid was all about you know if you take covid it was all about mouth and oral care and mask and all that so yes we have a lot of bacteria you know it's contagious so all of that i would say from the get go they need to get comfortable with the doctor yeah, I also totally agree with you, doctor, on this because if you have that experience from your childhood, when you're old enough, you are completely and you're not scared right. of a dentist. Yeah, it's not something new. New. To you. It's like every year you go get yourself checked. If there is anything, you get a treatment. If not, yeah, you're happy. that's right. Coming back to the industry of oral health care, now we'll say a person wants to become a dentist. Uh, in your journey, have you faced any difficulties or drawbacks or is there anything that you can advise the people who are watching this, um, some pointers that they need to keep in mind to be aware of? So the first thing is the university they select. So it has to be, you know, registered and also the university needs to have uh, all the advancement because now we are talking all about the advancement, not the old techniques. We need to, you know, evolve and come out of it. We cannot we treat a patient or a person like how we were treated you know so it has to be uh, very comfortable so that needs to come and there is uh, the one-to-one -one patients the ethics all of that needs to be there you need to be more comfortable and I would say in my journey yes everything if you want to become someone you always have your difficulties ups and downs you will have to always keep yourself updated that's the first main thing I would say after you do your graduation, you need to be updated with the current. You cannot always take the old techniques and go forward. Because there are a lot of clinics, a lot of the country is going, developing. So you also have to develop. You need to get yourself updated, study, uh, take a lot of courses, do. And you need to be on the run, I would say. Okay, again coming back to the industry doctor, when you talk about, the, now you mentioned a few of the challenges. In your recent role, what was the main challenge that you faced? Because I have had uh, a few students, friends of mine, who say that I really want to become a dentist, but I don't see myself becoming one here in this country. I'm a little bit scared, the opportunities are not available. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? No, I wouldn't uh, agree on to that. Opportunities are there. That's how you grab it and how you work. You will have to work hard. First thing, if you ask me, you will have to work hard. So when you're building up a career and if you want to be someone known or someone who's a good doctor or treating, you will have to have your hard work. 
opportunity there there sri lanka is a place i would say we have more opportunities you know but it's how you reach the people how the word of mouth takes you across a mis one mistake will have a bad name for the entire you know 10 to 20 but a good name or a good quality of material quality of treatment quality of medicine all that to reach it will take a little time you need to also have patience the first thing i would say you need to have patience you need to have passion you need to love your job only then you know it will take you step by step and then you can achieve i'm sure there is so much of avenues you in dentistry if you take you can specialize in kids you can take to uh, you can align you can take orthodontics you can be a specialized in root canal or if you are a person who surgical you can go into surgical but you need the only challenge i would say a dentist will have is you know getting down the technology to sri lanka it is not very easy with all the current situation and all that getting down but if you have all the technologies the machines everything if you are updated then it's great not only nowadays it's not only about the dental chair you need to have a lot of you know technology machines all of that to take you to another level okay uh when talking about the patients now you said uh, patients come to you at the last moment let's yes. take a bridal they yes. come two three days before the wedding and yes. uh, expect you all to fix their teeth or fix their mouth yes. so how soon should they make the appointment so if you have your wedding planned or if you have your date fixed at least before 6 months you need to come and do a consultation as what you want and what can be done so recently if i take like 2 days before there was a bride who came so her wedding is actually tomorrow but i had to uh, give her a lot of uh, artificial teeth i need to do all that so 2 days is not enough for us so in that case we will also have to hurry up our procedure so in case if you want an artificial teeth we will have to do a shade selection we will have to send that to the lab so you know there is a lot of lab work involved if there is anything artificial or anything which needs to go as a crowns or ceramics i think a lot of people are aware of it so if it's a missing you know when you smile you have a missing there so for the pictures so all that if you have some flaws i would say 6 months before please go for a consultation then the doctor will give you a plan and then by then during your wedding it will be perfect because last minute i would not i would say please don't have that tension because in case if there is a color change we won't be able to match it we will have to just give it and if you have a pain or anything like that we won't have time to take care of it because it's the last minute two days before three days before i wouldn't say two days before or a week before going to a dentist is not ideal and it's very authentic cause yes. if you take like how it has to be the whole thing now if you're a bride if you're if you're thinking that your whole you know whole whole body your face everything needs to be changed you will have to plan it very very 6 months before if it's a skin or if it's your teeth all that so when you get your makeup everything with your beautiful smile you will look more more happier more uh, confident the pictures will be very beautiful because your teeth plays a huge role your smile plays a huge role you cannot be always conscious at your wedding you know i have a missing here so can i smile this side or can i smile that side you know insecurity you is cannot much do that yeah you know and then when the pictures come you feel very bad that's yeah. true so that cannot be done when it comes to young people doctor as far as i know when i ask my friends or the young people out there like if they're getting a dental appointment the most common reasons that i have come across is either they have a small cavity or they need to get a root canal surgery done or it's their wisdom teeth they have to take out okay so now root canal surgery is pretty much common like most of them are giving me that okay the appointment is for this why do you think uh, the cause of the root canal surgery comes up but can't, can't we prevent it from yes. happening so the answer is with you you will have to prevent it so for that when you have a slightest sensitivity you will have to go to the dentist so if it's a smaller size slightest sensitivity then the de- doctor will give you a filling and treat it so it is, it doesn't go to the pulp so you need a root canal treatment when you get that pain because the cavity is traveled to the nerves to the pulp so that's where the pain triggers 
So please do not wait for you to have pain. When you get pain, then we will have to have all the expensive treatments, all surgical treatments listed because you are late. Uh, another question doctor now after the treatment was done after you have made everything have you had like critics or patients that who are still unhappy with whatever they have got done and how do you deal with that yes so satisfaction is very difficult when it comes to that so they will have a lot of flaws everything but when you correct it on the correction they always forget how they were before so that's the only thing I always face they always forget how they were before and then what happens is when they when you get a smile designed or anything like that then they'll start finding fault the it's not straight it's not crooked it's not this it's not that so I come across a lot of patients like that who are you know sometimes very not satisfied unhappy uh, with uh, the new smile and a few few is surgical when it comes they come in the last moment if you're flying tomorrow I would say if you're a person who's flying and a lot of people are now migrating. So if you're a person who's flying, it has to be always at least same like the brides three months to four months before. Not that I'm flying tomorrow. If you're flying because the pressure, there is a problem. So in that case, you will have a severe pain. If it's a long flight, I don't like you to, you know, take the pain. Mm -hmm. So please don't have all of that during your travel, do, during your wedding. So it has to be always, you can't do the root canal the first sitting today and then fly. You know, the treatment needs to complete, then you're always with pain and you, you become very unhappy. Mm -hmm. Do you always give attention to detail because each problem from each patient is different? So yes. uh, is it important that you give special attention to each customer or patient to differ yes. in their unique ways? Making a smile beautiful is not that easy. It's very <laughs> difficult. It's like, you know, it's, you have to be like an artist. It has to be perfect, you know, everything has to be perfect. So for some people we can, but for some people with their flaws, if it is like a really something which the tooth is very crooked or very proclaimed or there is something like that, we have only a maximum level where we can correct with the safer side, safer measurements, without removal, without extracting, because I always like to have your original tooth. Your original tooth is the best. So I like to have and preserve your teeth. So I will always do a minimal invasive surgery or minimal invasive treatment. Okay, thank you doctor. So we have to go into another short commercial break. We'll be back soon. You're watching Gen XYZ. Welcome back to Gen XYZ and uh, we were in discussion with Dr. Shamil and now we are at her clinic. Thank you Dr. Shamil for inviting me into your clinic. Thank you so much <laughs> and I welcome you here. Thank so you. this is my arena. So uh, most of the time I am here as my patients and everybody knows. I actually live here I would say. <laughs> Only the night sleep is at home. So uh, this is my clinic and I make sure that you know when the patient comes it's not most clinical and all that and I also have a TV on top uh, it's easy for me to distract and also the kids also get distracted so when you play play whatever you like on the YouTube or whatever they like so you know the distraction is not too much uh, onto the My teeth gosh, or I would say onto the doctor yeah that that is very useful not just for the kids I think for people like me yes, also yes definitely that is very very important yes. so <laughs> they feel very comfortable yeah. there has to be something you know, distracting. Distracting their mindset. Some kids from even the like to, you know, uh, have their, you know, music production, the headphones, the any, anything, anything. As long as they are comfortable, it's easy for me. They just look up, open their mouth, and then that's how I deal the little ones. And also, the first time when they come, we play, we give them stickers, we have balloons, we have a lot of gifts. So make them very comfortable. And then from the second time, they don't even cry. They walk in happily. They jump. They play here. So I also get uh, special kids here. We get a lot of special kids. Everyone, everyone who's really, really, really scared to visit a dentist. So they have always been welcomed. And this is my treatment and I also have an intraoral camera. So you can actually know what's inside. 
So if I say there is a cavity or anything like that, you can actually see visually before even I get into it. And then we have these aligners. These are the aligners, very soft, very comfortable. So nowadays we don't use these orthodontics, no wires, no brackets. So that's a little bit step down. So if you're very comfortable or if you're a teen, like since we are talking about young people. So for the kids, I actually say they can get their wires and brackets. It's nice to go to school with the color band. <laughs> but for us, we don't like to, you know, be Have seen the with the bracket and all that. So this is something very comfortable for us. You wear this and then you remove while you have your food. Any food is welcomed. You can have anything, no wires, no pricky, nothing like that. Very comfortable. Every once in two years, you just replace it and your align is being done. So for this, actually, we do a video and show you how it's going to change. So the outcome, you will see way before, not like your orthodontics, because with the wire, we won't know the torque and how it's going to go. But with this, Yes, it's computerized, it's digital, accurate, so that's there. And also this one I really like to, to show for the young, younger generation. If there's one single tooth missing and your bedding is up and all of that, so you can get a small, small denture, which very, very cost effective. It's, it's, it's just like a clip-on denture. Even a lot of young girls wear it, you can't even notice it. So you have a tooth. This can be even made in two days, three days. So it's, the first thing is, I would say, cost effective. Just clip it on and then you remove. If you want, you can remove or you can even wear it. Uh, for people who are missing with single teeth and all that, very, very comfortable, very flexible. It, it's in the skin, in the gums. So it, you is will it not know. sustainable, normally. doctor? Yes, yes. All of that is there. And then you will you have the whitening, uh, one of the most popular thing. Uh, it doesn't cause any sensitivity, no teeth damage. Uh, at least goes 10 to 11 shades low and it's just uh, 15 to 30 minutes of a cycle a light comes in and then you get it so I have all the advanced and for the kids especially I don't do any drilling and all that we have a solution a black solution which we put it in their teeth so that it the uh, there is no progress of the cavity it will just get arrested so you don't have to worry even if it's a little one who's one or one and a half that I'm gonna drill I'm gonna use all these machines because they are very scared of this noise. When you start the machine, they yeah. freak out. And I am one of them. <laughs> yes. So that's why we have this TV. Yeah. And then, you know, noise cancellation, headset. It's so all good that to know. helps them. Yeah, it's good to know that all of these new advanced systems have yes. been coming up. And especially a relief that, you know, we don't have to go for braces anymore. Exactly. And if you want to get your teeth aligned, you have the aligners as yes. a doctor. And then if you want to design your smile with any fillers or any filling materials, you can get it designed, but everything needs a little bit time, I would say. If your yeah. wedding is tomorrow, please don't come today. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And doctor, now there's another thing. As f I mean, when we talk about people who are scared to come to the dentist, there are also people who are very, you know, germophobic and they need to get their teeth clean. Like it's the slightest mistake that they would rush to the dentist or uh, rush to their skin care specialist. Like just if they break out with pimples or especially with their teeth also. So. They're germaphobes, yes. so they need to be prim and proper. So, yes. do you recommend people to go like that? Because I've had people go once a week for their cleanup. Is that healthy? I wouldn't say go to a clinic to get your cleanup once a week. Your brushing technique has to be very good. So, if you get a cleanup, please ask the dentist how to brush. Yes, it's okay if you're 30 or 40 or 50. Uh, learning something in the right way is something important. We brush from the get-go, but sometimes we miss we don't know how to brush, so there is something called as a brushing technique. But there are even there are patients who come once in a month just to remove their plaque. It has to be done in a safer way. Without every six months, a cleanup will not damage your enamel. There are a lot of people who are phobic. They say the calcium is there. Once you clean, the teeth is gonna shake. Nothing like that. It will become more healthier, and your gums will also be very healthy. And you won't have something called halitosis, bad breath. As you said, doctor, like once a uh, once in six months is all right. Yes. But is it healthy for people to go like once a month or once a week? Once a month and once a week, you will need if you do a proper brushing. Mm -hmm. The brushing technique needs to be right. A good brushing is the key. So if you're in a good brushing, you won't have any plaque deposit. So you don't have to, you know, go to the dentist. But if you don't know to how to do it or how to remove all the importance, if you're not educated on that, I always give them an education, I always give them an awareness. I tell them, so only when you teach, 
if I tell you, please remove all this white, then you will know. If not, you are not going to know. You are going to think that even if you brush, it is going to deposit. You won't know what's to what to remove, what not to remove. The calculus, a lot of people have a misconception as calcium. So if it's too much, then the tooth, you know, holds better. And if you remove, then the no, nothing like that. It's actually infection. You have it in your uh, oral care, That's oral right. cavity. How important would you say, doctor, that um, awareness is? Because like a lot of people, when I ask them, okay, what did the doctor actually do inside your mouth? They say, oh, I don't know. I just went to him or her and did something. Now I'm okay. So. How important do you think awareness is to be Awareness about? is much, much important. And you, you also need to know what treatment you're getting. What is the aftercare? How do you need to take care of yourself? How do you need to brush? Do you need a water flosser? Do you need a flossing? When do you need? All that needs to be known. So that you need to get it from the dentist. The doctor needs to explain it to you. Okay. When it comes to kids again, what are the most common reasons that children come to you, doctor? Do Cavity. They? The first thing is cavity, a lot of, of sweets, course. we all yeah. love sweets. So cavity, improper brushing and there is another thing where there is a lot of breast milk or any milk deposit in their teeth. So when there is a lot of milk deposit, the cavities are more prone. So the parents need to know how to take care and prevent, thumb sucking, habits, when to prevent, when not to prevent, when it's normal. So all these you will only know when you go to the dentist. Okay. Again, doctor, how do you handle difficult patients? Do you ever influence people to come for a checkup again for the second time? Yes, a review is a must. Mm -hmm. you know, in, in any treatment, a review is a must. It, like, it can be a bridge, it can be a permanent treatment. You need to have a review. If you have an infection, an underlying infection, if you don't know, if you have an abscess, or even if you have a precancerous lesion, as a patient, you won't know. So you will have to have your six months dental checkup. That is the key. Even if you get uh, everything done, or the whole mouth is been, if you get a full mouth rehab, anything like that also, a review is a must. Mm -hmm. That's the must, I would say. Okay. We are reaching the end of our program also. To end our program, doctor, I want you to give a little advice to the young people out there on the importance of getting, paying attention to your oral care. So I would say negligence is very expensive. So please do not neglect. Prevention is not expensive. So please make sure you make a visit to the dentist. And please make sure that you select a dentist who you can discuss. Be free with her or with him. So that you need to get what you want to, not what the doctor wants to. All right. Thank you so much, doctor. Now, I myself, I felt comfortable talking to you. And Thank you so as much. you invited me for your clinic also, I'm pretty sure I'll be making my appointments with you again. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon then. Thank you so much. And uh, that was our episode on Gen XYZ. We will be back again next week with another uh, youth related topic or issue. Just in case you couldn't watch us on there, uh, you can always re watch by catching us on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash English. And a message from Dr. Shamil also get pay attention to your oral care thank you so much I'm Suzanne Shanali stay safe and have a good night